Many people here in Milwaukee are thinking about their friends and family in the Sunshine State. Adriana Mendez spent the day at the airport and talked to people visiting Wisconsin from Florida. As flights are coming in from Florida to Milwaukee, Lake Mills local Cassandra Reed is glad her family vacation just wrapped up and they are out of the path of Hurricane Dorian. Uh, my grandmother was a little freaked out calling me all night last night. <laughs> yeah, when are you guys leaving? What's your flight? You know, yeah. just a little worried, but we were fine. Florida native Rebecca Ellis is in town with her six month old daughter for a wedding, but she is thinking about her family back home. Well, we feel good that we don't have to worry about power outages or anything like that, but um, I did leave my my two boys and my husband behind and their plans were canceled, so that's kind of scary. Rebecca has been through her fair share of hurricanes and is concerned about what she will travel back to. The biggest worry we have right now is flooding and power outages. Some in town from Tampa feel the same way. Beth Patterson has businesses in both Tampa and Miami. She fears the potential damage from flooding. It's obviously concerned about not only our businesses, but more importantly, our employees that we have as well and their families. But for Art Freeman, it's not a big deal. He just hopes to get a flight out of Milwaukee on Monday. I'm ready. All right. Okay. What will be will be. Now there are some flights heading to Florida tonight, but according to Southwest, if you're traveling to or from Florida in the next upcoming days, check that flight status because some of them may be canceled or delayed. Reporting at Mitchell International Airport, Adriana Mendez, today's TMJ4.